Okay, so right off the bat, I know people are gonna ask, and I'm going to be honest, I don't know what kind of sketchbook this is, and even if I did, I honestly wouldn't recommend it to you. <laughs> Not because it was like a terrible product or anything, but um, if you take a look at the binding here, and how, um, I feel like saying it's being held together is being very generous by this tape. <laughs> It just really wasn't suited for what I did to it. Um, and uh, also, I didn't even think about this, this will work, when I bought it, but if you take a look at the paper, it is quite a great deal different from like a normal white, which was actually really, really frustrating to work with because it's almost like a grayish cream color, which is, it's tougher than white is what I'm gonna say. Um, if you do want a sketchbook that's about this size and you want to do, you know, kind of multimedia stuff, I would get a um, Canson mixed mixed media sketchbook. It's like same size, it's wire bound, it's like this, almost exactly this like blue color, and I feel like that's a much safer bet. I've used those before and I really like them, so I won't ramble too much. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so yeah, I started this sketchbook uh, over a year ago. And I've been working on it pretty consistently ever since then. Uh, you know, I take breaks from working on these big ones, and I I have, like, these are all also sketchbooks that I work on at the same time, and that one's done, but, you know. But I, I have been working on this for a while, and uh, I really have enjoyed working in it. Um, you know, I've also had school, because I'm doing art in school for the first time since middle school, which has been crazy, but this has been my little passion project, and I'm excited to go through it. So, less talking, more art. First page is pretty, pretty simple, probably the simplest page in this whole thing. Uh, you know, we got a little, little paint sample, just some little pencil sketches, and I love these guys. They're free, the cops can't stop you from taking them from Home Depot. And then we get right to the colors. Uh, this here I used this, one of these little uh, the multicolored colored pencils. I got this at a resale store and I'm a really big fan. Just to get those really fun kind of primary and purple colors. Some bunnies. I feel like it's pretty easy to tell what my favorite animals are when you look through my sketchbooks. Got a very hefty milk sticker. This guy is like extremely durable. <laughs> you can like see it coming off the page. And then we have... There's a lot of blue and yellow happening in the sketchbook I noticed. Characters here. Little heron looking guy. I'd love to do like a children's book in like a simple style like this. I am obsessed with this cardstock. This like pale yellow cardstock. I found these huge sheets of it. And the way it looks, which is like a normal ballpoint pen, it's my favorite. It's seriously my favorite. Especially with just like some alcohol marker. These are like knockoff Copics. They're like art skills or something. Um, but I really like the way it looks. So you will see a lot of this in the sketchbook. Just some doodles of character here. And uh, this is a collage I made when I first moved to stay in the suburbs for college. And uh, if you can't tell, I've always found the suburbs to be a little bit creepy. I, I lived there very briefly in the suburbs uh, when I was growing up, but I've usually either been like in the city or the country. And there's something just very, I don't know, liminal and strange about the suburbs. And you know, especially, I've been kind of on a deep dive looking at like suburban sprawl and stuff. And it's just, I have thoughts about it. Here we've got some uh, Midnight Gospel and some Fruit Loops. And some more of that cardstock that I'm a little bit obsessed with. I've used all of it. There's there's none left. Uh, and then this is just pink gel pen for the line art. Sorry, my voice is kind of raspy. Uh, I just got off work and I work in customer service, so my voice gets fried a lot. <laughs> all right. These are characters from a story my friend and I have called Deadbeat. And it's about a bunch of vegetable single dads who have a garage band. <laughs> In my brain, I imagine it like one of those Worthy Kids animations, like um, like Big Top Burger, but I don't really know how to use Blender, so I just daydream about it. And this is Hira from the story uh, Wolf 359, which is a very, very good story. I love AI characters a lot. I like this spread. This is mostly finger painting. 
and uh, just some collage stuff. I got these flowers at an antique store, and this is just from a random magazine. And, uh, oh, I should mention, pretty much all of the paint that you see in this sketchbook is just going to be your run-of-the-mill craft paint. You can get these pretty much any craft store or even the dollar store. Um, or, yeah, there's like a couple different brands. But, you know, I don't really swear by a single brand. I just use what I've got on hand. And I shouldn't even wrap this brand because it's not exactly great. I recommend getting a little bit higher quality paint, but I do, I have been using Artist's Loft <laughs> for my primary colors. Uh, you, well, you don't know me, but I feel like I've made it pretty clear that, uh, I don't think you should have to break the bank to make art, you know, like, I think good supplies can be a game changer, but also, like, Crayola is always gonna be there, and you can make great art with it, so, I don't know, I don't think that money should ever be a barrier to do something you're passionate about, but that's my little soapbox. Just some acrylic there, some more of that funky rainbow pencil, some paint, and I think these are body stickers, but... They're sketchbook stickers now. This is just acrylic. I've been driving at night a lot because I'm far from everything. This is just one of those little scratch cards. I used to make my own of these when I was little with oil pastels. I would scribble in rainbow colors all on the paper and I'd cover it with a black oil pastel and I'd scratch it off and I felt so smart for doing that. <laughs> Some old characters. This is just alcohol marker. And this is a napkin with Rosie's house on it and Rosie inside. Um, I've always been an Animal Crossing kid. Uh, my brother and I had it on the GameCube when we were little, and I think it's the only thing my brother and I ever actually had like a genuine fight about was Animal Crossing. <laughs> this is my D&D character, but uh, yeah, no, Rosie and Mitzi were my favorites. Anyways, my D&D character, her name is Basil, and I love her very much. I've, I've mentioned kind of the way I do my sketchbooks before, but as you can tell, nothing is very sacred. You know, things get covered up all the time. This is some little mouse doodles. It's from Anne with an E. Such a good show. If you like, you know, really sappy, dramatic things. If you don't, you probably hate it, but I, I like that stuff. Some more rabbits. I've been putting some of my uh, photography in this one, which I haven't really done before. Mostly because recently I realized that I can just go to the store and like print out pictures. And I've been doing that a lot more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> or probably more than I should afford, but that's just how it goes. More Hera from Wolf 359. Ooh. This is some cardstock I got at the dollar store that I've been messing around with. I'm still not like super great at like I shouldn't say that. I think it came out pretty cute, but uh, it's been fun to play around with like shapes and things like that. This is just all covered in paint and then paint marker on top. This is my favorite Pokemon, Togetic. Either Togetic or, oh, I like a lot of them actually. I like um, Sfeel a lot and uh, I don't know, there's a lot of good ones. This little guy, I call him Pepto because it looks like Pepto Bismol. Ooh, this one. I'm really proud of this one. Uh, this is a painting of an image I really like, and uh, I actually submitted this to a local art show, and uh, it got in, which was really exciting because I'd never done anything like that before. So, yeah, the, the picture reminds me of my uh, my childhood cat. So, I was really happy with that. And that's just a uh, Mr. Rogers quote. Always gonna be a Mr. Rogers fan. I feel like he really got how to make really good, thoughtful media. Um, Got these wonky stickers at a different antique store. It's my black and yellow page. This page is... It's been through a lot. <laughs> well, because, you know, I took this out of here. This is on, like, serial cardboard to put it on display at the gallery, but I wanted it back in here because it's where it started. But, yeah, this page has been many different things. This is a painting of a rabbit. I don't know why I felt like I had to explain that to you, but... It sure is, isn't it? <laughs> Here's some watercolors. You can't really tell, well, you kind of can. If you look at the texture here, this paper just wasn't very good for watercolor, but it, it does hold the colors well. Did a line out for these in the car. And then I colored them later. Big ol' sea turtle. That's just gel pen, acrylic, and a little gem for the eye. And I think this is a picture of Hong Kong, but I really like it. My little match character. Some matches I found at 
some store or other. My yellow page. Well, one of many. <laughs> some more of this cardstock. This one was kind of inspired by those plushy Neopets. I was so thrilled to find a page in a magazine that was literally full of actual like basket cases. I don't know why, but it's really funny to me. And this is just craft paint, a little parrot guy. Oh, he's coming out. Hey, bud. And again, that's just more cardstock with alcohol marker on top and ballpoint pen for the line art. I, I don't fly very often because it's expensive, and I never used to fly uh, growing up. So f being on a plane was a very new experience for me a while back, and uh, the novelty definitely hadn't worn off. I did these because there was, a, there was a kid sitting next to me who was watching me draw, so I drew a bunch of stuff that I would have liked to see if I was a kid, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Joy Harjo's poetry, who I really, really like. Definitely recommend looking her up. This just has some writing underneath it. Another blue and yellow page, could you guess? Painting. That's a white-breasted nuthatch. I've been on a bird kick lately. And obviously I didn't draw this. I found that at a flea market. And this is, um... Oh, it's about police unions. <laughs> Which isn't a very fun topic, but it, it did match the colors, so I just threw it in. Because otherwise, if I, if I take notes and I don't put them somewhere, they will be lost to obscurity forever. And I've got a secret for you. Bow. Bow. This is watercolor, that's acrylic, and that's a scared bear. We'll give him some privacy. This is just acrylic, and I use Posca pen for the white clouds. <laughs> it's a seal, this is just crayon and paint. I've been on like a cave diving video kick lately. I found this channel called Dive Talk, and I I don't know why, but it has like a vice grip on my brain. They have a series where these, there were these guys who went like underwater diving in Chernobyl, and it's the most stressful, <laughs> bizarre thing I've ever seen, but I've watched it like five times, and I've made a million people watch it. I don't know, I just, it's something I don't think I'd ever do, but it just like, it's just so fascinating to me. Got a heron under here. And more blue and yellow. I think it like, I think it speaks to the part of me that really likes Minecraft and just like the, like the idea of just like exploring. Just some more doodles, a lot of blue pen from here on out. This is paint marker, and this is just pen and crayon. And this is pen and watercolor. I like this little match guy a lot, and this is a terrible drawing of a very good object. Um, my friend made me a mug in her ceramics class, and it has like a deer antler for the handle, and uh, I love it very much. Some watercolor. Some more of that cardstock, just some fun little doodles and the little seal deer. I like how the little bird one came out. The primary page. I, I like this page. I'm very partial to this page. It's super covered in paint, but like so am I, so it's okay. And you know, like speaking of paint, it is so hard for me to just sit down and like work on a big like canvas painting or a big project. I just really just don't have an attention span, which is why my stuff looks like this. Oh my goodness. But, you know, when I do, I, I really do enjoy it. This is a character of mine. And again, I just painted this whole page and then I went over it with paint markers. Oh, the poor bind. Oh, he's just... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get some super glue and just go to town on this thing. These are some creepy pictures stuck inside a church. Here's some poetry and collage stuff. I took a couple of these pictures. Some of them aren't mine, but like these ones are. 
I feel like um, the one hobby that I have that really rivals art, if you take something from this besides like, I don't know, go crazy with your art. I, I don't know, being outside and being in the woods is really, really important to me. And uh, I think it's a good thing for anyone to do is just like take a little bit of time and, you know, just be in nature, not to sound like one of those phone bad people. Twitter bad. Don't go on Twitter either. But um, I don't know. I, I really find it grounding and rewarding to just go do nothing in the woods. <laughs> this is just like some paint on there. And uh, chalk, charcoal, and I think that's it. Like acrylic, chalk, and charcoal. And this is just collage things and pen. Would you believe it? There's another blue and yellow page. <laughs> and even more cardstock. It's a little owl character I have and some bunnies. Took that picture and this is just chalk. This is watercolor. This is watercolor paper here because, uh, no offense to the sketchbook, which, oh, buddy, you were just falling to pieces. Uh, it could never hold the colors as well. I, I really like graveyards. I think they're a very, very peaceful place to be. Good old Minecraft quote. This is just kind of loosely held in there by these little party guys. Can you believe I left some pencil in here? I know, right? This is just acrylic paint and I went crazy, like literally like this. And then I took uh, paint markers and just went to town. <laughs> this is a little, little fella. Gel pen on here. Paint marker. This is when I realized that my car has a manual mode and not just automatic. Very scary. Sounded like my car was full of rocks. It's a deer running by the trash. Ooh. Some mechanical pencil stuff. I, I like the shape of these guys a lot. This is a page I have added so much to. It's so thick, just with like acrylic and various things I put on it, but I do really like how the colors came out. I used to want a snake, but I also really liked mice when I was a kid, and so I just couldn't stomach the idea of them having to eat them. Ina! Ina's a cool series. Uh, very, very reminiscent of, like, the old internet, and, uh, I don't know, just really funky. You should check it out if you haven't. Damselfly. I, I really like damselflies. They the first time I saw one, I was like, that is not, that's a Pokemon, that's not a real animal. Animal? Sure. Insect. But yeah, I think they're really neat. These are from Space Boy, which is a really good webcomic. I have a whole bunch of these, uh, like, weird science-y photos that I found in this, like, big sealed envelope many years ago. I still don't know what they're from. Oh, where's the bug? There's... <laughs> there's usually, um... A little yellow beetle stuck to that page, but he's gone miss... Oh, I found him. He fell out. He goes there. And there's some comics. Wouldn't it be a power move to do a sketchbook in one of these and then do like the world's tiniest sketchbook tour? Character mine, there's like some nail polish on there for a screen effect. This is a restaurant napkin for um, texture. <laughs> Got some notebook paper and Crayola, the classic combination. I think I went very pop-up book with the sketchbook, which I also did for this one. Oh, I opened right to the page uh, a couple places in here, but I, I went even more so in this guy. This is Crayola marker. It's a thumbnail for a painting idea I had. But I still might do, I want to do a big painting soon, like big. I like big art. Some crayon doodles. 
the pretty suns that I saw last summer and a deer. And some poetry. I, I'm trying to get better at like, you know, experimenting with different types of art. And you know, oh my gosh, can I, can I use my hands? And uh, looking at other people's art and like, you know, slowing down and really taking time to consider it. Some more of this character. It's like an angel, it's like stuck in a bunch of hardware and it's really mad about it. One of my characters. Different one of my characters. He's a, I, I call them unicorns even though they're not really unicorns, but I don't know what else to call them. Uh, this guy. This person. Some blue and some green. I didn't draw this, but totally wish I did. Got that from a museum gift shop. Oh, buddy, you got stabbed. <laughs> oh no. There's some lilacs. One of my favorite flowers. Some rabbits. Go figure. Come on, bud. This is just watercolor, and uh, this is this crazy color shift paint that I found, which I really like. I think it's fun. Um, I feel like, uh, along with, I don't know, maybe like nostalgia or something, I feel like grief is a, a theme that I touch on a lot in my art. Not even so much of like the uh, like cut and dry, oh, somebody died and that sad kind of grief, but I feel like even with good things that happen in life, even just with like natural changes or just reckoning with, you know, the way things are, I feel like it involves grief and uh, something I always kind of think about. So that's a little something about that. And uh, the Deltarune guys, Deltarune's so cute. I, I love Deltarune. Noelle is predictably my favorite. Noelle and Susie have my heart, but I really like all the characters. I, I like Toby Fox a lot. A little mouse with an umbrella. The thumbnail I did for class. I really like how the big version of that came out, but it's currently at my school. Crayon. So, <laughs> I work at a cafe. And we have a lot of really interesting regulars, but we have this one guy who always comes in with like a word of wisdom for us. And the one day he goes, uh, he goes, the world will unravel, but we will not. And like, we just stood there and we're like, whoa, whoa, okay. And so now whenever we get really busy or like something stupid happens, one of us goes, the world will unravel and someone else will go, but we, will not and it's, it's become like our battle cry <laughs> some people make me happy be nice to your service workers we work really hard and uh this is a picture of my cat from my childhood uh he's no longer with us but i really like this picture and it gave me an excuse to use my favorite sticker because it reminds me of him and yeah that is that's about it i i'm happy with the sketchbook it's uh it's been something that I've just kind of been adding to and working on for a long time, but it, I, I'm, I'm very happy with all the, all the memories and things that are between these pages, and I hope you guys like seeing it too. Uh, and you know, I'll throw you a bone and we can take a look at this one too, since I kind of started this one on here, but I'm not going to go much in depth, but we can just take a peek at some of the stuff that's in here. Here's work from the garden wall. Characters. Some more characters. Yeah, we're just gonna speed on this one. A lot of collagey stuff. And it's it's not a big sketchbook. There's only like 30 pages. Hollow Knight, best game I've ever played. But yeah, this one I'm happy with too. This one I finished a little while ago. Some edgy story moments that I have in mind for my unicorns. This rabbit's one of my favorite things that I've drawn. Oh, 
off to talk about this another time. That was from a conversation that changed like the entire way I thought about the world. All right, there you go. Look, you get two, see? <laughs> and yeah, uh, I'm not dead. I'm not deeply unwell. I'm not like lost in the trenches or anything. I just, I, I, I still post a lot. I've got other things going on in my life, but uh, I do appreciate people's concern and I really, really appreciate uh, your support. And uh, it's been super weird having this many people look at my art, but it's been really cool too. And I'm really glad that you guys like it. So uh, that said, uh, I'm gonna take off and you take care. I'll see ya.